Andhra Pradesh has embarked on a mission to transform education landscape in government degree colleges in the state. From the blackboard to the computer operated projector screen, from the volumes of academic books to the internet, from the textbook to the tablet, from the classroom to the evolution towards a virtual classroom has set the stage for a more personal and interactive learning experience. The Virtual Classroom Project is the latest initiative of the Commissionerate of Collegiate Education, Government of Andhra Pradesh, in association with RUSA, Government of India. The state of AP has uh, done well under RUSA. It has uh, utilized uh, as on November 2017 nearly 70% of the funds uh, released by Government of India. So we are all geared up to utilize more funds and also investing in the right direction so that the projects or the initiatives or the innovations that we take up are best utilized for the benefit of the students. Under the scheme, under the leadership and guidance of our Honorable Chief Minister Sri Chandrababu Naidu Garu and our Honorable Minister Sri Ganta Srinivas Garu, we have taken up initiatives 22 virtual classrooms in all our RUSA colleges. We have planned to make one college in every district as the nodal college or the identified college to plan and schedule virtual classroom lectures within their districts where the, there are teaching and learning gaps. Wherever experts are not available for certain subjects, the virtual lessons are scheduled and taught from the resources available. A person from one college is able to deliver lecture to all the other connected colleges in the state. This is a very big leap in higher education institutions and education system. The traditional system of lecturing is dispensed with and a new methodology and system has come in place. The students are enjoying and they are interacting with uh, resource persons uh, from a distance college. The teaching staff is also excited in utilizing this technology and they are motivated to give their best lectures from wherever their services are utilized. The major benefits will go to the rural colleges where the faculty shortages are there and where the best resource persons are not available. And I am sure this will go a long way in reforming the education system and bringing in quality education in all the higher education institutes. A virtual classroom is an online classroom that allows lecturers to communicate with students not only in the classroom they are teaching in but also with students from other colleges who are logged onto the virtual classroom. It also enables the students to view presentations or videos, interact with teacher and communicate with one another. Under the Virtual Classroom Project, presently 90 classrooms in 56 colleges in Andhra Pradesh are being funded by RUSA. The remaining 88 colleges will be covered in the next few months, including the colleges located in the remote tribal areas. Based on cloud-based technology, the basic virtual classroom setup comprises of portable interactive device, whiteboard and green board, short throw projector or visual presenter, CPU, vertical cabinet, audio system and web camera headset. Internet connectivity with 10 Mbps dedicated leased line and 100 Mbps for Wi-Fi in campus premises is provided by APSFL. 
The Commissionerate of Collegiate Education is the nodal agency for the virtual classroom project with 13 ID colleges covering all the districts and 131 government degree colleges and aided degree colleges spread across the state. The very important solution that is introduced in Government of Andhra Pradesh on behalf of LOSA is virtual classrooms. The virtual classroom is the best solution in order to give more amount of knowledge for all, particularly the rural students of various government colleges, particularly 56 ROSA colleges. This is a very important solution that is introduced first of its kind in Government of Andhra Pradesh. Of all 29 states and 7 union territories in India where the ROSA is in operation, Government of Andhra Pradesh has introduced this solution and being appreciated by ROSA authorities. Through this solution, particularly networking all rural educational institutions where most of the faculty crunch is really seen and also to identify the eminent faculty members wherever they are located, their services, their lectures, their knowledge can be shared to all colleges at a time through this solution virtual classrooms. All the colleges are registered by the virtual classroom project and are allotted a user ID and password. Based on the students and the staff strength, the year of its establishment and accessibility, the college is identified as ID College in the district. Operating on the hub and spoke model, the ID College serves as the district resource center for all the government degree colleges and aided degree colleges located in the district. Around 300 faculty members from across the state underwent training in conducting virtual classrooms. The establishment of virtual classrooms is really a creating a dynamic digital platform for teaching and learning. Now we have planned through District Resource Center, we have chalked out a timetable. The timetable is planned in such a way that such slots are are used for the virtual classroom facility only and wherein the same timetable will be there across the district. Not only across the district, we are also doing across the state one or two slots we have arranged in a week for the, so that the entire state expertise can be shared among the, all the colleges. It's really a wonderful experience to all my teachers. We are arranging these lectures to all our students Every day, the virtual classrooms are, in, are functioning effectively through 10 MBBS lease line connectivity. At Rajamandri, we are having the five virtual classrooms, wherein all the classrooms are now the students are experiencing and uh, the quality teaching learning process from the various parts of the state. All the four qualities, equity, access, quality, and excellence are being addressed through these virtual classrooms platform. I thank the RUSA Government of India for uh, providing such a great facility. This is a unique kind of uh, teaching learning process in the country. We are now planned to uh, webcast through these virtual classrooms, our international conference being organized in February on renewable energy and research and education across the state of Andhra Pradesh and across the globe. The ID colleges in consultation with the principals of government degree colleges and aided colleges take resolutions relating to academics including identification of faculty gaps. Once this is done, the faculty members are exchanged as per the need. Uh, in our college, we have lecturers for uh, almost all the subjects, but one day 20 students came from to me and requested and demanded to arrange a lecture on uh, theories of probability. So I made an inquiry about the expert resource person in the district and I found that such a person is there in uh, government degree college Vedavaluru. So I requested the principal to arrange a class on uh, the theories of probability. Our students enjoyed a lot and uh, thanked me a lot for uh, 
giving more clarity in that particular subject. Though they have listened to the subject in the college, because some more inputs have been given to the students. So, they, they really they enjoyed the real learning process in the virtual classroom. And uh, they felt that learning the real world in classroom is uh, being a virtual classroom. I thank Government of India and uh, ROSA for providing funds to establish virtual classrooms and other uh, latest uh, equipment for making use of the uh, latest developments in technology for the benefit of the students and the faculty members. Subject slots are allotted to the colleges. This depends on the student-teacher ratio. Relevant expert faculty members for the subject are pulled in from all the colleges. The ID College allocates the date and slots to the expert faculty. A timetable is drawn by the ID College and is communicated to all the colleges in the district who have virtual classes. Lectures are both in English and in Telugu. Since many colleges suffer from acute shortage of qualified effective teachers and relevant course material, these virtual classrooms have come as a boom. The implementation of virtual classrooms has radically altered the what and how of the teaching and learning processes in these institutes. The teaching faculty and the students are adopting a range of easily accessible teaching and learning tools for upgrading themselves. The lecturers write on the board, which is visible simultaneously to all the students in different colleges who are attending the class. The students can see the lecturer as well as the board. Aided by the projector, the white board is also used as a display monitor, smart board, screen for visuals, etc. This has generated a new wave in the college education environment. What is unique to this project is that it effectively bridges gaps pertaining to faculty shortage. The students and lecturers across the state are participating in live classes to collaborate and interact. Uh, under the RUSA reform scheme, our college has been allotted two classrooms and all the faculty have been extensively trained by the experts in the handling of the equipment. I was approached by the principal to take up a virtual class for all the first years and hence I delivered a virtual class to all the first years of biotechnology across the state starting from Dr. VSK College in uh, Vishakapatnam, to PRR College in Kakinada, and CRR College in Vijayawada. Well, my uh, lecture was of one hour duration, in which using this virtual classroom, I could uh, utilize the varied online resources, like animation videos in the YouTube and virtual labs. And at the end of my session, we had a very interesting and lively interaction with the students, in which I posed a questionnaire to them and there was a brainstorming session in which all the students from across the state interacted with each other to come up with an answer. And this helped me to assess the understanding levels of the students across the state. And my personal experience is that I find the virtual classrooms make the environment more stimulating for both the faculty and the students. And I want to thank the government of India and RUSA for giving us this opportunity to utilize the virtual classrooms. Uh, virtual classrooms enabled me to uh, use my uh, different type of atomic models and e-researches to explain the topic of stereochemistry to the students of the entire state of Andhra Pradesh. Another tangible experience of uh, uh, virtual classrooms is I have got the interaction with the students from different parts of uh, Andhra Pradesh having varied uh, backgrounds 
with varied experiences. In one hour of my lecture, I use 45 minutes for giving the lecture and the demonstration. 15 minutes I allot for feedback. And during the feedback, what I found is the interaction with the students and the feedback has given a fabulous response. As a lecturer in computer science, I know the difficulties of the shortage of faculty very well. Because in some rural colleges, it will be very difficult even to get the guest faculty in computer science. So what we used to do is we used to go to the nearby rural colleges in the district once in a week or ten days in a, uh, uh, once in ten days, and then we used to take the classes there. But now, as we are having virtual classes, virtual classrooms here, I can take my class in my regular college, and the same could be transmitted to the rural colleges. And now they are enjoying, and all the students of the rural colleges are also participating in my session. Here, as we are having the virtual classrooms, now we can give the tailored content, the customized content to our degree students according to the degree college's curriculum. In case a student is unable to attend the virtual class or any college which is not registered, they can still access the lesson as guest user by downloading the Life Science app on their smartphone. Virtual classrooms have helped accommodate students from geographically far-flung towns and villages and even tiny hamlets to attend classes at real time where qualified lecturers in key subject areas are often not available. In our group, the subject textbook sounds very rarely and costly. In that times, this virtual classes helps us very effectively. And some, some complex uh, lessons in psychology like nervous system, we understood better by seeing that nervous system in virtual classes. In this way, virtual classes uh, helps us very uh, effectively. So thanks to Rusa for giving this uh, uh, virtual classes and thanks to MHRD. Prabhutva Kalasalo, visual classes and a chala of your karanga on nai maku. In the country, Prabhutva Kalasala ekuga lecturers kortane dekuga convert on tadi. Yoka kortan cover jetanki visual classes, other colleges lunchme lectures, Dwara Patal Ventanki, visual classes makentagano, Pio Bartanai. Ade Vidanga, psychology locani, literature locani maku, eno teleni. Questions gaani, you know, doubts and gotam and clear just got an ki your visual classes mark and top your karanga on nai. We till dwara me and to effective ga at the same time chala interesting on the classes went on dwara. Thank you, Rosa, and thank you HRD for giving this opportunity. The introduction of virtual classes in uh, the field of uh, education is very effective. It is being uh, a profit for all the students. They are getting to know about the subject and clear their doubts by the efficient and experienced teacher from other colleges all over the district and all over the state. Here the students are getting interacted with the teachers and also the students of other colleges. So it has been an effective manner to interact with the other students other colleges and gain a very perfect knowledge in a particular topic. It doesn't mean that if you are a student of maths you are getting a you are going to acquire the knowledge of only mathematics. You can also gain the knowledge about any other topic in which you are interested. The types of interactions students have with lecturers and lecturers have with students, whether across the room or across the state, virtual classrooms have acquired a new way of learning and teaching with a host of benefits. Instructor expertise is being distributed more broadly. Scheduling problems of classrooms has lessened. Enriched the experience of distance education by encouraging interaction. Large number of students benefit from distance learning. Students from remote areas learn with quality teachers and content. The colleges are extensively using virtual classrooms facility for increasing student acquisition in their regular courses. Learning has become more interactive as its nature forces the student's attention. A boon for struggling students to catch up. Advanced students are able to take specialized courses that were hitherto not offered because they attract few students. The equipment installed for a virtual classroom is also being utilized for video conferencing facility in all the 56 colleges. The college principals, 
coordinators and the staff members have regular video conferences chaired by the Commissioner. This helps to resolve internal issues of the college functioning, have a regular check on student strength, student status, sanitation issues in the colleges, etc. By adopting high quality standards in education, Andhra Pradesh is fast turning into knowledge hub of the country. An educated world and a stronger Andhra Pradesh. I thank the Government of India and the state government for supporting the department and also in execution of the projects and in the timely releases of funds. So I thank all of our principals who have supported and coordinated and with one mind we could establish the virtual classroom projects in all the degree colleges.